welcome you all in this video lecture series on chapter breaks up till now we have seen all the theoretical part on this chapter breaks and we have started to solve the problems on breaks in last video lecture we have seen the problems on simple band break in today's lecture we will see the problems on differential band break but before that you must know what are the formulas that are used in the differential band break that we will just look at the formulas theory we have seen already in the previous lectures you can check all these theoretical lectures in the description box link is given in the description box so in differential band break the two ends of the band are connected to the lever at two different points apart from the fulcrum so here from fulcrum o to a capital a some distance is there and from o to capital b some other distance is there so due to these distances the force p is defined if suppose oa distance is greater than ob then force p has to be given from top side as shown in the figure and if the distance ob is greater than oa then force p has to be given from bottom side this thing you have to remember while solving problem secondly the breaking torque we have been asked in the problem to find out breaking torque many times so formula for breaking torque in simple band break and differential band break is one and same one that is tb is equal to t1 minus t2 into re whereas t1 and t2 are the tensions in tight side and slack side and re is the effective radius of the drum that effective radius you can find out from the formula r plus t by 2 whereas r is the radius of drum and t is the thickness of band so in this formula t1 and t2 are the only unknown things that you can find out by using the two relations that is t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta and another relation you can find out from the taking moments at fulcrum point so while taking moment you must take care of the notations of t1 and t2 that is the tension side and slack side so whenever drum is rotating in clockwise direction tension side will be always towards the left hand side of the drum that is t1 and slack side will be towards the left hand side that is t2 whenever drum is rotating in anti clockwise direction t1 side will be towards left hand side of the fulcrum and t2 side will be towards the right hand side of the fulcrum that care has to be taken while taking the moments this t1 and t2 has to be mentioned in the right direction next to take the moment we can have this kind of a free body diagram need not to be drawn in the while solving problem in diagram you can observe the same kind of diagram so here if you take the moment you will get one equation while taking moment you can equate the anti clockwise couple equal to clockwise couples so here p into l distance is creating one clockwise couple at fulcrum point similarly similarly t1 into b distance is also creating one clockwise couple therefore these two will be added and equated to the anti clockwise couple which is created by t2 t2 into a so you will get equation p into l plus t1 into b is equal to t2 into a or here it is written as a minus t2 into a so like that you have to calculate the sorry you have to take the moment at fulcrum point o similarly for anti clockwise also you can draw the free body diagram and take the moment at fulcrum point o in simple band break in simple band break there is only fulcrum point and another b point so in that single band break you have got this equation of moment in terms of only either t1 or t2 but here that fulcrum point is something different than t1 and t2 points therefore here in that equation after taking moment you have got t1 t2 in both the equations both things you have got in that equation so here one equation will be get generated in terms of t1 and t2 and another equation that is t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta you have to solve these two equation and find out the value of t1 and t2 you have to put these values of t1 and t2 in the breaking talk formula that is tb is equal to t1 minus t2 into re and you have to find the value of breaking torque tb here also you have to take one note that if in the problem it is given that brake is self locking that means the value of p that is effort you are applying to the brake will be equal to zero so up till now in all videos we have seen what where we have considered the locking of the brake or self locking of the brake 
but we are not considered it while solving problem here we will solve one problem based on that self locking so let us start with the first problem a differential band break as shown in the figure has the angle of contact 225 degree so here angle of contact that means theta is given as a 225 degree convert in terms of radian also the band has compressed woven lining and bears consist of cast iron drum of 350 mm diameter so the diameter of the drum is given as a 350 we need a radius converted into radius is 175 mm the break is to sustain the torque of 350 newton meter that means it is given that the breaking torque is equal to 350 newton meter breaking torque is already given here and the coefficient of friction between the band and drum is 0.3 that means mu is given as 0.3 find the necessary force p for the clockwise and anti clockwise rotation of the drum that means that force p is given as unknown here you need to find out whenever drum is rotating in clockwise direction and whenever drum is rotating in anti clockwise direction the value of p secondly you need to find the value of oa for the break to be self locking when the drum rotates in clockwise direction when drum rotates in clockwise direction and break is self locked you have to find the value of oa that is distance oa how to find these two things let us see now firstly it is asked to find the force p if drum is rotating in clockwise direction we will consider the clockwise direction of drum if drum is rotating in clockwise direction the tensions t1 and t2 location is very important so t1 you have to consider towards the right hand side that is at point b wherever band is connected to point b there you have to consider the tension t1 it is a tight side and slack side you have to consider wherever that a band is connected to point a vice versa you have to consider whenever drum is rotating in anti clockwise direction for clockwise t1 towards b point and t2 towards a point now first of all let us find the values of t1 and t2 for finding the values of t1 and t2 we need to first find the two relations that is t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta value that value you can find out by putting the values of mu and theta in that formula you will get the value of t1 and t2 is equal to 3.255 consider it as equation number 1 now breaking torque you know tb is equal to t1 minus t2 is into r re why here you are not considered because whenever thickness of the band is given you have to consider here re here we have to consider only r if thickness of the band is not given therefore breaking torque formula will become t1 minus t2 into r so put the values of t1 and r you will get the equation in terms of t1 minus t2 call this equation as equation number 2 t1 minus t2 is equal to 2000 newton call this equation as a 2 and by solving equation 1 and 2 you will get the values of t1 and t2 how to solve find the value of t1 in equation 2 t1 is equal to 2000 minus sorry plus t2 this value of t1 you can put in equation 1 and find the value of t2 then that find the value of t2 you can plus in equation 2 and find the value of t1 so by solving this 1 and 2 equation you will get the value of t1 and t2 now after getting the value of t2 take the moment about point o fulcrum point o in that moment equation you will get all the values of forces that is t1 t2 and p so by taking moment clockwise couples will be positive anti clockwise couples will be negative sorry anti clockwise couples will be positive and clockwise couples will be negative therefore p into l is creating uh, clockwise couple so it it can be considered as a negative then t1 into b will be considered as a negative plus t2 into a will be considered as a positive by rearranging the term you have got that equation plus p into l plus t1 into b minus t2 into a actually we have to consider anti clockwise couples as a positive clockwise couple as a negative so again rearranging term you have got this equation and putting the values you will get the you have got the value of p as 
into 10 raised to 3 divided by 500 equal to 64 Newton. This is the value of P you have got whenever the rotation of the drum is considered as a clockwise. Now secondly, we will find out the value of P whenever rotation of drum is in anti-clockwise direction. Here, the te sorry tensions in tight side and slack side will be exactly vice versa. That is T1 will be towards A point and T2 will be towards B point. Therefore, again following the same procedure, we can find out the value of T1 and T2 but we will not do again repeatedly same calculation we will write t1 t2 values as it is but their direction has been changed here and now taking the moment about point o you have got this equation put in this equation the values of t1 t2 l and a and b you will get the value of p as 804 newton this is the value of p whenever drum is rotating in anti-clockwise direction now secondly, it is asked to find out the value of OA. Now here, OA distance, OB distance, we will not consider anything because it is asked to find out value of OA when the brake is self-lock, when the drum rotates in clockwise direction. So whenever drum is rotating clockwise direction, T1 will be towards B point and T2 will be towards A point. This you have to remember. Now, again, when brake is self-locked, P must be equal to zero. Remember, you have to remember this thing that P must be equal to zero whenever brake is self-locked. Without doing any effort, the brake will be under action. This is nothing but self-locking condition. Therefore, P is equal to zero in self-locking condition. Now, for the clockwise rotation of drum, we can have one equation after taking moment. You have got this equation. That is P into L is equal to T2 into A minus T1 into B. So in that equation, you can put the value of A as OA distance, B as OB distance and L distance given as 500. And you know that whenever brake is self-locked, value of P is equal to 0. If value of P is equal to 0, left hand side will become 0 in that equation. Therefore, T2 into OA is equal to T1 into OB I can write. Therefore, put the values of T2 and T1 and a distance OB, you will get the value of OA easily. And the value of OA will be 114 mm. The value of OA will be 114 mm. Like this, you can solve the problem if in the problem self-locking condition is given. You have to write one equation after taking moment for that. And in that equation, you have to place the value of P equal to 0 and find whatever ask in the problem now this second problem you have to solve at home and write the answer in comment box i will read the problem for you a differential band break acting on three-fourth of the circumference of the drum of 450 mm diameter so uh, angle of lap you can find out from that three-fourth of circumference and 450 is the diameter converted into radius it is provided to breaking torque of 225 newton meter breaking torque is given one end of the band is attached to the pin 100 mm from the fulcrum point and of the lever and the other end is attached to the pin 25 mm from the fulcrum that means one distance is given as 100 mm another distance is given 25 mm from the fulcrum on either side wherever force is acting that means distance given OB is 25 mm and distance given OA is 100 mm therefore here also force will be act from up to down that is P force will be in downward direction only here diagram is not given from this problem only you have to generate this diagram so P force will be downward why because OA distance is 100 and OB distance is 25 mm from that you can just that OA distance is larger than OB distance therefore P force is in downward direction. If the operating force is applied at 500 mm from the fulcrum that means O to P distance is 500 mm. The coefficient of friction is 0 0.25 mu is 0 0.25 find the two values of operating forces corresponding to two direction of rotation of drum. That means you have to find out the operating force P whenever drum is rotating clockwise and whenever drum is rotating in anti-clockwise direction similar type of problem it is there you can solve it at home and write the answer in comment box so if you like this video 
subscribe to my channel shri tech education and if you have any doubt write in the comment box thank you